Previously, I showed you how to get data from your Hyundai or Kia into Home Assistant. This method uses the Blue Link integration. Interestingly enough, you can use HA to control your car's climate and other stuff as well, not just for viewing data. So today, we'll focus on using HA to control the climate of our Hyundai Ionic 5. Originally, you're supposed to use the Hyundai Blue Link app if you want to remotely control the climate of the car. To me, it does not make any sense because it involves opening the app, tapping on a phone or tablet to get everything up and running. We're going to simplify the whole process by using NFC car or texting. Let's start with NFC car. Open up Home Assistant app on your phone, assuming your phone has NFC reader. Click on the hamburger icon in the upper left hand corner. Go down to settings. Go down to tags near the bottom. Click on add tag. Finally, click and write. Now, just put your new NFC tag near the phone. The Hyundai car tag is now added into the system and ready to go. Let's jump onto the desktop so it's easier to set up the automation. So go ahead and log into your HA server, go down to settings, go over to automations, click create automation, create new automation, add trigger. The trigger will be the tag that we created. I label it Hyundai car. Add a condition. The condition will be when the outside weather is under 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense to heat up the car when the car is already hot. Click on Add Action. It will be a call service. Call service to Climate Control. Start Climate. Let's check box Vehicle in case you have multiple vehicles. I only have one. Duration will be how long the climate will last. Temperature will be your desired temperature. In my case, it will be 79 degrees. I'm going to uncheck the defrost button just because I don't need it. In a heating section, you have more options. I like to have my steering wheel hot as well. And then the front left seat. Once you're all satisfied, go ahead and click on Save. Give it a name. And then click on Save. If you want, you can go to the hamburger icon on the upper right hand corner. Click on it. Go down to Edit in YAML. Here you can see I added more trigger because I want to use the text command text on my phone to get the car all heated up just because my NFC car is not always with me of course. So for instance if I come out of the doctor's office and I want the car to be heated up and ready to go I just send a text command to my telegram accounts and it will get the car ready to go. So just in case you have telegram already set up like that all you have to do is type in slash car 79 and then the car will heat up to 79 degrees Fahrenheit. In the future, I'm going to change it to a variable. That way, I can always text slash car 60 and it'll heat up the car to 60 degrees, for instance. And that way, I'm not stuck to a single number. Down below, I added a confirmation as well. This will let me know that the automation was executed successfully. Here's my NFC car. This is fully programmed as you saw earlier. Turn the phone on and scan the tag. 
by just placing the phone next to the NFC. If it's successful, then you'll get a text from Hyundai. The text confirm that the climate control has started and you'll also get an email. When you go to the car, it is still locked, of course. I'm going to unlock the car. I don't know if you can hear it, but climate control is definitely on. It is stuck in park mode. You have to press on the brake and push on the start button to actually start the car. It is 79 degrees right now and we're ready to drive. By the way, one other thing I noticed is that the butt warmer is not on. I don't know if it's because this is the 2023 SEL all-wheel drive. Maybe it works for the high trim like the Limited or Disney version. Alright, hopefully this video helps save time in your daily busy life. The whole method depends on Blue Link, which is free for two years and about $150 after that. I'm hoping we can control climate using the weekend device that I mentioned in a previous video. Once smart people know how to control the car with the weekend, then we never have to rely on Blue Link ever again. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.